want my bait to get over that limb actually it won't move forward in the bait in the bed at all oh but he's right on it now maybe i don't want it to move now maybe i do oh got him oh goodness gracious You got it. Keep reeling, Augie. Keep reeling. Very nice fish, Augie. I don't even care what happened for us today, do you? I don't even care. It was already an amazing day, right? Surprised I'm not seeing anything off of this dock anywhere here. It's definitely rock. Hard bottom here for them to spawn on. But all these perch are hanging out underneath the star. You see when I spit right here. All these perch that come up. <laughs> oh, there is a fish out there. Wow. There's a fish on a bed out here in the middle of this brush pile. And I think in order to land on his bed, you have to go over that limb right there, actually. There's a limb that hangs over. I think you have to go over that limb to even be in his bed right now. I'm going to see what happens. I've got 20-pound monofilament on here right now. So hopefully I can get him out of there. See if the fish comes back. He actually spooked off there the first time I pitched for some reason. Spooked way off. There's definitely a bed and he was definitely sitting right in the middle of it though. There he comes. Now he's right in there next to my bait. Oh no. Now the wind and the rain's gonna start. It's starting to sprinkle. Are you kidding me right now? Come on. Ah. I'm trying to get it to come over the limb and it won't. Come on. Come over that limb. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I guess I'm going to switch up to my white bait now so I can see. And maybe, for whatever reason, that bait change will maybe get him fired up too. I don't know. I doubt it because this is the more natural bait, which I prefer. But, see what happens. He's right back in there again. See, I think he's even a little spooky from my bait. Not even just me, if my bait is in there, he's kind of spooky a little bit too. Because he gets right in the middle there when there's nothing around him. Gosh, I'm wondering if I should put a little white straight tail worm on it to where... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut down a trick worm pretty far where it's just a little nub. I'm going to put chartreuse on the end of it so that if he'll eat any part of it, he should get stuck. Oh, 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 he got part of the bait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I probably could have got him right there, actually. Golly. Ah, I forgot, actually, that I had just a little piece on. I was thinking I had my Rage Menace on there and I had to eat more of it. Probably could have got him right there. 
I'm gonna try to come over the limb again. Get him to react. Yep, there he is. All this ripple's making it so hard though, I can't see. Oh, oh, yeah, he just, I saw his belly. He's, oh, got him. Got him, finally. Yep, nice. Very, very nice. I saw his belly flash up sideways on it. I knew he was down to it. And then I just felt a thunk. And he was swimming off. That is a really, really healthy male there. You can tell he's been gashed by something in his younger life. But gosh, that's a nice, healthy, really gold, gold fish. That little sucker there made me work for it. And I like it like that. That was very, very fun. Like I said, very healthy, very nice fish. That was very fun, dude. Thank you, buddy. Go back to protecting that bed now, daddy. There he goes, straight back to it. Sweet. I'll take that. Not an easy day for bed fishing and I caught a good one, so success in my book, especially for a just short little morning trip. Well, I just stopped by this pond that I've driven by lots of times and I didn't think it was very good. I stopped by to fish it one other time before and it wasn't good. It was really ugly water. I thought maybe it had cleared up, so I tried to stop by again just now. And sure enough, no. The water's still really nasty and dirty. But there was a guy down there with his kid said if I keep going this way I will find spots where there's a bunch of little ponds that he said is full of bass so see what happens here there's a real obvious bed out there oh yep got a bass on it too Got a decent bass on it. It's kind of wild because it's like right in the middle of the river too, or the creek I should say. I imagine there's quite a bit of current there, but maybe not. Maybe the wind is making it look like there's more current than there is. Oop, I don't know, but this bass is going to my bait already. Oh yeah, he's mad. Very protective. His markings are very, very bright. Oh yeah, he's all over my bait. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there he goes, <laughs> oh yeah, he's getting twitchy, <laughs> got just a little bit too far outside of the bed though, but he was twitching on it the whole time he was in the bed, or the bait was in the bed I should say, yep, there he goes down to it right now, oop, nipped at it, missed it. <laughs> He ran at it and kind of hit it with his nose with his mouth closed, I think. And actually knocked it completely out of the bed. Circling around. <laughs> He's just eyeballing it right there. Likes it coming into the nest is what he doesn't like. I'm going to move it quite a bit coming into the nest to try to get him to react. Yep, yep, oop, getting all twitchy. Big movements is what gets him to go. Ah, comes out of his bed too fast though. I'm actually gonna try to be patient a little bit here and just get him to react on it by shaking it. Yep, crawling it right to him. sitting kind of outside of the bed right now though actually oh crap but when I went to when I went to reel my crawdad up there he looked at it though like I said it's those big movements he doesn't like hop it right in front of his face oh nipped at it see it's those big big movements that's what he doesn't like I have to hop it right in front of his face 
drug it off the bed. Come on, right in front of your face. Oop, nipped at it. Oh my gosh. Oop, oop, oh no. Dang it. He had my bait right there and he spit it out. I saw him spit it out. <sighs> the ripples are making it so hard to see. He had it and I didn't know it. <laughs> oh, crap. He'll hit it again here soon though. Here it comes. Oop. Turn on it. Yep. Got him. <laughs> oh god. Sucker's fighting hard. Oh yeah. A little bit better fish than I thought too. Alright. That is a really nice one. Wow. Barely got him in the corner right there. Just barely fell out right there when I grabbed it. Nice, nice fish. A lot better fish than I thought. I thought he was maybe just barely a keeper. That's at least a two pounder. Golly. Very nice fish. Sitting right there, in the middle of the creek on a bed. That was a fun find and a fun catch. Thank you for playing, buddy. There he goes. Right back to protecting that bed. Oh man, over there on that side with the rocks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we're right here in front of me. A nice bass right there. Looks like he's just cruising though. It doesn't look like he's locked on to anything. back end of it there I saw my bait actually swimming off so he actually had part of the bait there but I think he had just barely the back part that's why I like to throw that little worm in there but he just wasn't reacting well to it at all so I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit at least Oop. come on come on gosh nipped at it Got him. Yes. All that time. Finally got him. He just barely got it though, so I think I got him just by the skin. I'm gonna have to pull him up here. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Alright. Alright. Like I thought, just barely by the corner right there. He just barely picked it up. But once again, a much, much better fish than I thought actually. I thought this fish was pretty small. Like I said again, maybe just barely a keeper, and that is another one that is two for sure, two pounds for sure, two plus. That one's even a little bit better, I think, than that last one, actually. He is very thick, very healthy. That one might be pushing three pounds. Doesn't really look like it because his mouth is small. He's pretty short, but God, is he thick and heavy. All right, let's get him back in there to go protect that bed some more. That was fun. That one made me work for it there. Right back to it. Alright! That was one I had to work for there. That was fun stuff. Ooh, there's a bed. Real odd. Ooh, yeah. And a fish swimming away from the area anyway. Wow, he's going a long ways though. Going back towards it. Yep. Yeah going real fast back towards it I believe this fish is on this bed right here by these reeds don't look like he's a real good one but big enough for me to want to try to catch at least if I can get a pitch over there quit messing it up yep there he goes right over to it come on fish go eat it yep. Oops, got him oh no dang it 
Dang it. He ate it and I missed him. I think he might have been spitting it out right as I set the hook. Darn it. I don't know how hot he's going to be. But I'll try the little nub trick again. So that he can't eat part of this and not get hooked. Oh yeah, he's back over there already. He should be good. He should be good. I was afraid this fish was too small and he was going to spook off, but maybe he's not as small as I thought. Those last two were definitely bigger than I thought, so he could be too, I guess. Either way, I'm going to throw this little tiny worm in there. He's so hot right now, he should eat it. And then if he eats any little part of it, he should get stuck. So, here we go. There he is, off to the left. Not on the bed itself yet, but he will be in just a second. Yep, there he goes, right over to it. Oh, nipped at the bait right when it hopped in there. Yep, going down to it. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on, dude. It's right in the middle of your bed. Eat it. Oh, oh, oh. Got just the tail. Come on, eat a little bit more. A little bit more. Ooh. He ate just a little bit more of it. Could have set the hook on him. He had just the little chartreuse part, I believe. He might have had enough to hook him, but I don't know. I didn't want to risk snagging him on the outside of the mouth. Oh yeah, he hears that drop and he goes right over to it. Come on, fish. Get it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Oop. Oop. Off the bed, but he's still following it. Yep, got him. He ate it off the bed even. Followed it all the way off the bed and ate it. There we go. And, yes, again, it's a better fish than I thought. Not as good as those ones, of course, but I thought he was much smaller than them. He's not really. It's an okay fish. He's about the size I thought the other ones were. I thought they were just, you know, barely keepers. Decent little fish, like he is. They turned out to be like two and a half, pushing three pounders, maybe. And then he's just a good, solid, like, pound and a half keeper. I think, yeah, that's fresh blood right there, so that's where I hooked him before, I think. Anyway. Thank you for playing, buddy. That was fun. We'll go back to protecting that bed. Wow, this has been a fun, fun discovery here today. I'm so glad I came out here. Well, it looks like we might be coming down to the end of this way anyway. The end of the deeper water this direction. Well, that was a pretty awesome little walk already, and that's only half of it. That's only one side. I get to walk down and fish the whole other side now. Whoever it was that told me about this spot, if you're watching, if you just happen to be watching this, I thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know what the chances of you seeing this are, but you'll know who you are. You told me about the long walk it would take to get down here. But you said it had bass all over the place and you were not kidding. I am very happy I discovered this place. Or I guess not really discovered, but you know what I mean. Discovered it for myself, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I don't know what kind of snake that is. But there is a big black snake right there in front of me. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to turn around and go back down the other way. I don't feel like running, in, running into any snakes over here. And that darn sure looks like a cotton mouth. Wow. Yeah, I'm no snake expert, but that looks like a cotton mouth black, got a pretty arrow shaped head, can't tell the shape of the eyes but I'm not getting any closer, <laughs> I'm going to turn right back around and try not to run into any of those, <laughs> it looks like this side is a no go, there uh, appears to be a reason that nobody really comes over here, <laughs> I'm going to go back down this way I guess, where I started to head down the first thing 
when I got here and then I saw somebody. I don't see anybody here now, so I'm gonna walk along here and try to find some more beds. Oops. There's a pair of fish on a bed right here. They're not real big. I think everything else I've caught today has been bigger except for maybe that last one I just caught. Hmm. I don't know. They're not acting super interested right off the bat. I'm not really gonna mess with them being that small. Oh, 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 there's a nice fish on the bed right there. I was just about to make a pitch just randomly out by that pillar. Not fishing for a bed fish. And then I saw one right here at my feet. Might have to throw over that little limb. In fact, that's what I'm gonna try right off the bat so that I can keep it right in the bed. Over that little limb right there. Like I said, I got 20 pound line, so. Should be able to come over a little limb like that, no problem. All right, I'm also gonna put a white bait on that I can see a lot better because there's just so little I can see about this whole situation right now. I want to be able to see something all the time at least. All right, here we go with a little white bait. A little white Rage Menace with the uh, flappers colored chartreuse, of course. Probably couldn't hear what I said right there because those motorcycles went by, but I said it colored the flappers chartreuse, of course. As always, just for a little bit added color to try to tick them off. Anyway, this fish is right back in the middle of its bed right now. Coming up behind him. I want my bait to get over that limb actually it won't move forward in the bait in the bed at all oh but he's right on it now maybe I don't want it to move now maybe I do oh got him oh goodness gracious get up here wow I was just saying Maybe I do want it to come over the limb. And right before it popped over, he ran down there and ate it. And that is the best one of the day. Goodness gracious, that one is three pounds. That fish is thick. Holy cow. Goodness gracious, that is a thick one there. That is a really, really nice, healthy male. That sucker was hot first pitch with that white bait and he ate it thank you Woo. he was mad oh I'm so glad I came at her today god this has been so much fun bunch of those real grand cichlids up in here no big mama on a bed huh Looks like there's a bed right over there. Don't see a fish on it though. See a fish out over there by the tree. Maybe on a bed. Uh, dang, kind of landed right on top of him. Not sure. Oh, he's still there though. There he is. Ah, I can't see my bait though. It gets up in that moss so easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a white bait. Try and catch this fish real quick. White bait, just so I can see. All the way over there on the other side. You can't see me, so. Several factors in my favor right now. So I think this white bait will be no problem getting them to react on it. Oh yeah, there he is, right against the bank now. next to him right in front of his face right there Oop. Uh, I hopped a little bit too far I think dang it 
it's a little bit too much of a hop. Yeah, he chases it off the bed every time though. There we go, right there. I'm gonna try to just barely crawl it now, right in front of him. Yep, there he goes, running right up to it. Oh yeah, oop, ooh, he nipped the tail. He's still down on it, still down on it. Oop, oop, come on dude, eat it. <laughs> He's falling it off the bed, ooh, got the tail. Just barely the tail. Oop, got him, got him that time. Good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sniped that one from a long ways away. Stop it, dude. Stop it. I'm gonna get you back in the water here. All right. Chill. Sniped him from a long ways away. And stuck him right through the roof of the mouth perfectly. Beautiful little male bass right there. Once again, a little better than I thought too. I'm actually going to run down here so I don't have to throw them too far. I'm going to get right down here and let them go. There you go, buddy. Go find your bed again. He will. He will definitely go find that bed again. I've got this little pair over here that I didn't catch earlier, too. Let's see if they're a little more hot to trot right now. They're both definitely wanting to be up in here, but they're both definitely a little bit spooky too it seems any kind of little movement and they get out of there ah. can't see my bait though and like I said they're both pretty small so I'm actually gonna put on just a little straight tail worm here just a little nub worm see if I can get them to eat that real quick Drop it right in front of them and make them react. Ooh, ooh. Oh no! Dang it! That's exactly what happened. The female too. The bigger one ate it. She got it by like the whole side right there. I don't know what happened. Male's up in there right now. Females cruising back up in there. There she is. Right there. Eat it. Oop. Got her. No! Dang it! How did that happen? Oh man. Oh man. Did all that work and she ate it again. I have a feeling that they're not really gonna want to be there after that right now well shoot no they're both still in there wonder how shy she's gonna be to a bait now but we'll see oop not at all I guess got her not at all I guess <laughs> she was not at all bait shy how about that <laughs> Like I said, not very big, but she is slightly bigger than that male. And she is chock full of eggs right now. That's what they're doing up there spawning. And that's the little female. She is full of eggs right now, just ready to drop them. So I'm gonna put her back in there and let her go do that. See you later, little mama. That was cool. That was cool. Nice final catch right there. That's a good way to end the day to me.